Welcome back to another week of Our Kids Online. My name is Allie. I'm Katie, and we are so excited that you're hanging out with us today. Yes, we are. We are here for another week of Page Turner. It's going to be another great story. And we're also back with our friendship bracelets. <gasps> yes. Yes. Friends Thank you. forever. <laughs> all right, guys. Um, we're going to jump into all that God has for us today. So let's get ready. Katie, will you pray for us? Yes, let's pray. All right. Dear God, we are so excited to be back again to hear more about you. God, I just pray over everyone who's watching that you would just help them to be open to what you have to say to them today. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Hi kids, let's learn the memory verse for this month. And this month's memory verse comes from 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 3. Before we get started, I want to show you two signs that are kind of hard to do unless you've seen them first. So let me show those signs to you first. The first one is the sign for Lord. You make an L with your thumb and index fingers. This is the sign for L. And you're going to touch your shoulder and then touch your hip. Shoulder, hip, Lord. Okay, and the second sign is for the opposite of the Lord, which is the devil. 
Okay, you're gonna take the same L, make two of them this time, okay, and add a third finger. Now touch your temples with your thumbs and then crook your fingers like this. This is the evil one or the devil, okay? All right, this is 2 Thessalonians 3, verse 3. I will do it first and then we'll slow it down. But the Lord is faithful and he will strengthen you and protect you from the evil one. 2 Thessalonians 3, verse 3. Okay, let's slow it down and you do it with me. But the Lord is faithful and he will strengthen you and protect you from the evil one. Okay, let's put it all together. 2 Thessalonians 3, verse 3. But the Lord is faithful and he will strengthen you and protect you from the evil one. 2 Thessalonians 3, verse 3. Good job. Hey, old chicken nuggets, it's me, Carl. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome. Well, look who decided to show up. It's about time. You know, I've been waiting for you since last week. Seriously, y'all did the big idea last week and just had it out. Not me, though. I was so excited to dive into another episode, I haven't slept. No, seriously, come on, let's go. Let's go. Why isn't it working? Come on, work, Bible, work. What in the world? What's happening? Ah, I'm so frustrated. I grab the Bible, I open it, I begin to read, and then I get sucked into the story. Oh, why is it not happening? Every other time it works, oh, I got it. Maybe there's a phrase I have to say for it to work the third time. Let's try it. Skiddily do, skiddily dang. Take me inside this Bible story thing. Huh, maybe there's a type of dance I have to do. No, that ain't working either. Come on, what's taking so long? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take three long, deep breaths, then I'm gonna open the Bible and slowly start reading. Then, and hopefully then, I'll be able to be back in the story like last time. Here we go. Feels good to be back. Wonder what made the dip. Grace! Carl, how are you, buddy? I'm great, now. Why do you say that? Well, you wouldn't believe how long it took for me to get back here. Really? Really, I mean, I've been waiting around here since last week, restless. Well, then I tried to hurry up and get back once my friend showed up, but it took a few tries. Hmm, well, what worked? Well, I had to take a few deep breaths, take my time. I guess I had to be a little, hmm, what's the word? Patient. Yes, patient. How'd you know that? Well, Carl, I think patience is the reason we are here today. Really? What's that? You see that tree behind you? Sure I do. Well, that tree is our focus for today's story. Hold up, you're telling me that tree is what we're talking about today? A tree? Some weird little cherry tree is what I'm here for? What kind of story is this? I don't have more important things to do than talk about a tree, okay? Carl, first off, you need to calm down. 
Deep breaths, okay? <sighs> Feel better? Yeah. Okay, secondly, it's not a cherry tree, it's a fig tree. And well, the story you opened up to, Carl, in Luke chapter 13, it's not a very common story. But don't let that fool you. It's very important. All right, I'm listening. You see, Jesus was telling us a parable. It was about a man who owned a vineyard, which is land with fruit plants and trees on it. Okay, I'm following you. So the man went to check and see if there was any fruit on the tree, and guess what? The tree was actually an alien robot that sent to destroy all other vegetables. No, the man saw it had no fruit, and he got kind of frustrated. So he turned to the person in charge of taking care of the trees and said, For three years now I've been coming to look for fruit on this fig tree and haven't found any. Cut it down. Why should it use up the soil? Whoa! He was going to cut them down because they didn't have fruit? Yep. But the person looked back at the owner of the vineyard and said to wait one more year. Wait, really? I hate waiting. We know, Carl. But the person said they would take extra care of the tree in the next year and then they would see if it bore fruit. If it did, then great. But if the tree didn't bear fruit, then they would cut it down. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Why wait a whole year? Well, if it's a bad tree, I say, cut it down. Well, you have a point. But can I ask you a question, Carl? Fine, but make it quick. I've always wanted to cut down a tree. Do you ever make mistakes? Uh, yeah. Who doesn't? <laughs> Here's another question. If God sees you messing up and making mistakes, would you want God to be patient with you? Uh, yeah. I would hope so. Well, that's exactly what's happening here with the fig tree. Huh? Yeah. You see, this was just a story Jesus was telling. A parable. And it was a way of teaching us to show how patient God is with us. So in this case, we're the tree? Exactly. And just like trees, we were created with a purpose. And that purpose is... Uh, leaf? People alone? No. To bear fruit. Once we accept and choose to live for Jesus, God's love will automatically start flowing through us. And that's what bearing fruit is. Oh, that makes sense. Kind of like when trees get sunlight and water, they can grow and bear fruit. But fruit don't grow on trees right away. So I guess Jesus' story is telling us that even when we're not bearing fruit, God waits for us and gives us time to keep trying? Exactly. But we could never do it without God's help. We have to remember that. Just like that gardener was going to take care of the tree and give it time to grow, God is patient with us too. Wow. I never thought that being compared to a tree would be a good thing. <laughs> What's up, tree? Well, hello there, and it's so good to see your faces today. Now, today's big idea is God is patient while we grow. Now, I thought it would be fun to do the big idea in a fun but patient way, okay? So instead of counting down from three, let's practice patience by starting from, mm, I don't know, at 50? Okay, here we go. 50, 49, 48, 47, 46, 33, 32, 31, 15, 14, 13, 12, Three, two, one. God is patient while we grow. Yay! Whew. All right, great job, kids. And thanks for being so patient. Now, I hope to see every single one of you next week on our next episode of Grow TV. Okay, bye, kids. Thank you for watching, and tune in next week for a new episode of this month we have been focusing on books and reading, but do you know what the most important book of all is? Yep, you guessed it. It's the Bible, the Holy Word of God. We get very excited about the Bible because it tells us all about Jesus' life, and he did some amazing things while he was here on earth. 
But did you know that every miracle he performed and every parable he told, everything he did was for one main purpose, to save people from their sins and give them the chance to live with him forever in heaven. He loves us that much. And he loves us enough to make it simple for us to be saved. In Romans 10 verse 9, it says that if you will believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and that he died on the cross for your sins and that God raised him from the dead, at that very moment, you will be saved. So, if you are ready to say yes to Jesus, you can repeat a prayer after me in a few seconds. If you've already prayed the prayer to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you don't need to do it again. You are already saved. But if you've never prayed that prayer before, bow your heads and repeat after me. But mean it with your whole heart. Say, Dear Jesus, I know that I am a sinner and that I have done many wrong things. Please forgive me for all my sins. Jesus, I believe that you died on the cross for all of my sins. I believe that God raised you from the dead and that you are alive today. So I put my trust in you today as my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. That's wonderful. If you prayed that prayer with me, you have made the best and the most important decision of your life. You are now a member of God's family. We're so proud of you and excited for you too. Now there are two things you need to do. Number one, tell your parent or another trusted adult that you've prayed to start a relationship with Jesus. And number two, we wanna celebrate with you and send you a little gift. So let us know that you prayed by texting the word KID to 240-269-2100. And welcome to the family of God. Hey guys, welcome back. Another great story, as always, from the Bible. And so I'm going to go ahead and grab my phone, open up the Grow app. We are in week three conversations in the Page Turner series. And today our big idea is God is patient while we grow. And we learned about the parable of the fig tree. And it made me think about... Um, how when you have a garden, I don't know if any of your parents garden or if you help them. I recently started growing vegetable garden in the last few years. Well, one of the things I noticed is that some vegetables grow fast and some vegetables grow slow. And you have to be patient. If you want good fruit, you have to be patient. And it just made me think that some of us might grow a little bit faster than others. But regardless, God is always patient with us. And I love that from this story. So this week, my question to you is, what are some ways that you can show patience towards others? It's one of the things that is probably most difficult in life is to show patience towards others. So think about some ways that you can show that this week. So true. Mm -hmm. Speaking of patience, uh -huh. <laughs> we're going to play a game. Fine. And Ali, you're actually going to be leading this. Oh, kinda. okay. Oh, yes. So we are going to be playing Hanging Monkey. Hanging Monkey. Now, it is, so we're playing this version of the game because mm -hmm. it's normally called Hangman, mm -hmm. but I think that's kind of like not a very nice mm, thing. Okay. So we are going to, yeah, the monkey is going to be hanging from a okay. tree at the end, but if Allie draws the whole monkey, then I lose. Does that make sense? Uh -oh. So, Allie's going to pick okay. a phrase or word for me to try to guess okay. what it is. I'm going to use, yeah, I'm going to use orange. orange. Okay. Okay. Here is your quill. My quill. Your sharper quill. I love it. <laughs> okay. I think first I'm going to draw a tree. Okay. Right? For the monkeys. I, we all know about my drawing skills. Okay. They're really it's bad. Be fine. So. It just might be a tree that's dying. Okay, now it looks good. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then he's just going to hang on underneath here. Oh, okay. I see. Okay. Got it. Let me fill it in a little because, you know. All right. Okay, so I have a phrase in mind already. Okay. It might take me a second to fill in. All right, so now she's going to write. So it's nice to know how many word or letters there are in a word. So she's going to write little, like, dash marks um, to indicate, you know, each one equals one letter. 
she's gonna write above that dash mark. So she's writing a ton of them. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be ready. Uh oh. Did you run I out ran space? out of room. Okay, continued. <laughs> continue to the next line. Okay. And one more. Okay. All right. So is this this is two words or one yes. long word? Yes. Okay. Two. One, two, three, four, five, six words. Okay. So now I'm going to guess letters. Okay. That might be in. All right. Good? Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. I am gonna guess A because there are usually some vowels. There is no. Are you a serious? In this one. Uh huh. <gasps> So here we go. We'll put um, his little monkey head. Okay. I am not actually gonna draw a monkey because I can't draw a monkey. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> you can just. You know what? It'll be it'll be like. Um, do, did any of you ever climb a tree? Okay, it's like, like a that? person climbing a tree. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Is there an E? Yes. Okay. I was gonna say there has to be a vowel somewhere. Is there an S? Okay, is there an R? Ooh. Is there an H? I feel like there must be an H. Yes. Oh, not, not what I said. <laughs> is there a T? Uh, I don't know, actually, no, yeah. That was nope. a bad choice. Ugh. Okay. Is there an L? Yes. Okay. Okay. I'm getting this first. Uh, this first word. Uh, o. Now I'm thinking there might be other things. Okay. There's a V because the first word is love. Um. Is there an F? Oh. Okay. Okay. Uh, you can guess the phrase there... at any time if you think you know it. <laughs> guess a, a letter. Oh, uh, <laughs> a I. Okay. Oh my goodness! I think she's I know got what it. it is. She's, she's definitely got it. I think I know what it is. Yes. It is Love Church. Yes. No God. Yes. Find friends. It is our our kids values. Our kids. Values. They are right above me right here. <laughs> Man, I was like, okay, this. I thought uh, I wasn't sure what that second <laughs> word was. I know. And then I was like, hey, is those three letters like R? Like, is there gonna be like? But there wasn't an R there. Ugh. It was hard. This game is really fun. I love this game. I used to play it all the time. Our kids' so values, love church, know God, find friends. And look, I only had a head and, and a body. A body. And so that's you did so pretty, did pretty good. good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, you it's can awesome. play this at home. It's really easy. All you need is a piece of paper and then something to write with. And you can pick your own phrases to write and challenge yes. your family members to play with you. Mm -hmm. All right, friends, that's all we have for you this week. We'll see you next week for another Our Kids Online. Bye. Bye. Thank you.